Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know I'm late to the game in doing this video, but I was waiting for some things to come. But I still wanted to do the video because I feel like it's such an important video to do. So today we are going to be using a mostly full face of black owned beauty brands. And the reason that I say mostly is because there are three brands in here that I included that I feel are significant to inclusivity and, and brands that are active in supporting um, Black Lives Matter and brands that are, that truly care about making sure that their shade ranges are broad enough that they include everybody and not just targeted for one specific skin type. So today we are gonna have some fun. We have some Juvia's Place, some Pat McGrath, some Beauty Bakery, Fenty. So that being said, let's get started and let's create something fun. Guys, so we are going to start by priming the eyes, but first I wanted to say I did do my brows off camera just because they take so long, um, but I did use the Oma Blowout Fluff, Fluff Brow, I believe it's called. Um, so first we are going to, I like to use a concealer usually to prime my eyes. So I am going to go in with the Oma Stay Woke Concealer on my lid. I'm going to go in with a Beauty Bakery sponge. These sponges are amazing. They are like, they're so bouncy and soft. They come in the cutest freaking carton. They literally look like an egg carton. <laughs> it's so adorable. Okay. Moving on, I'm going to be playing with some Juvia's Place today. Not really quite sure what I'm going to do. I want to do something a little bit more colorful, try and break outside my comfort zone. I'm going to be going back and forth between the Magic Mini palette by Juvia's Place. So pretty. The V pigment will shake you to your core. <laughs> it is so pigmented. And you can tell the love that I have had for this palette because it's a mess and it's my personal palette so but we are also going to go in with the Wahala palette I knew Juvia's Place was phenomenal as far as pigment goes but when I first got this palette I was shocked I hate glitter <laughs> I I love the look of glitter but I am not a fan of the aftermath of glitter. Look at that. The dimension in that. I am thinking I am probably going to do something either green or blue. So let's just start her out. All right, I'm going to start by priming the lid, going into the Juvia's magic mini palette i'm going into the shade kessie which is just a neutral shade and i'm just going to tap that all over the eye and some people don't set the eye but it just gives me a little bit of play it kind of makes things blend out a little bit easier for me hey guys I wanted to grab another palette uh, just so I had a little bit more uh, blending shades to play with. So I grabbed, and I've been wanting to use this very badly. So I've been, so I grabbed the Ace Butte Oceanic palette. Oh. I am going to first dip into the shade Bali from the Ace Beauty Oceanic palette and start out by blending that in just give myself a little bit of a base before i hop in there with the bright blue Let's 
Now I'm going to go in to Love from the Wahala palette. Are we ready? Okay. Oh, my Lanta, look at that. get so in your comfort zone with makeup sometimes and with me I do bridal makeup so it's very easy for me to get stuck in the rut especially with bridal makeup because brides that want and rightfully so want a very natural soft dramatic but not too dramatic kind of look I'm going to go over a little further with that blue. And I'm just going to dip back into the Bali, which is the lighter blue. So just going back in again one more time. With the Juvia's Place, same shade, which was Love. Bringing it over. I'm going to do somewhat of a halo eye, I think. I think now I'm going to go in the smaller brush. And I think I'm going to dip into Blue Clam in the Ace palette, which is that one. Sorry, guys, I forgot to put up the other colors I was dipping into, but I will put them over here or over here so that a swatch of them, that way you can see them. Just keeping this one a little bit lower. Okay, so now I'm going to go into Lagoon from the Ace Butte palette. Keeping that down here. That one I'm just very lightly touching with the blending brush because I want the definition to be there. What I love about all of these brands that I'm going to talk about is the fact that any skin color can grab these palettes and you can make a look so beautiful because they are so intense that they're going to show up so beautifully on any skin tone. Yes. Okay. So now, fading it over from that bluer color, I dipped into the shade Pacific in the Ace Butte palette, which is a little bit more of a blue-green, as you can see. Just kind of fading that over to the inner part of the halo. And I'm also going to dip into Turtle, which is greener. I kind of want it to be like an oceany eye. So now I'm going to focus more on the inner part of the halo. All right, so for the inner part of the halo, I want that a little greener. So I'm going to dip into Turtle and Seagrass from the Ace Butte palette. Just with a smaller detail brush, keeping it closer just to the inner corner because it's going to fade into that pop in the inner part. Soften the fade right there. 
Okay, so now I'm going to define the outer part a little bit more. Just keep it, just use padding motions with a flatter blending brush. So yesterday I took my daughter, she's a huge Billie Eilish fan, go see her movie, opening day. Oh, it really is so good. It really is. If you are a Billie Eilish fan or have a child that is a Billie Eilish fan, and like at first I was like for two hours and 15 minutes, what are they going to cover? I mean, I've openly spoke about mental illness and how I feel about things and being open with my daughter and what she's going through. But uh, you see a whole nother side of her in this video. And it, I feel like it is so important for her fans to see it and for them to be allowed into that side of her. Because I feel like sometimes you see them, these celebrities that these girls and boys, you know, are so connected to on such a personal level. And you as a parent don't quite understand it because you aren't going through what they're going through at that time. Being a teenager sucks. It just does. And being able to sit there and watch that side of, of what they already see of that artist and sides that they don't see that makes them and fleshes them out to be even more human to them. It was a really special thing to be able to do that and go see that with my daughter. All right, so I want to take a flatter brush because I want to define a crease part. going to take the brush that still has the Bali on it without adding any more and I'm just going to go over where that harsh line was. I was looking up and doing research for this video. The whole putting this video together in general is it was very because yeah, you want to do your research and you want to make sure that you do it right and it, it can get emotional just you know looking at the negative side of the black lives matter movement and just some of the horrible things that have happened being able to to do something more fun you know and celebrate it's my dog <laughs> and be able to celebrate all these amazing African-American women, men that have created such phenomenal things. It's, it can be, it's just very powerful. And even some of the brands that I'm going to include that, that may not be black owned, but have been so supportive of, <sighs> sorry, <laughs> she's so mouthy. I have a little corgi, but that have supported being so inclusive. The eyeshadow, guys. Sorry, I'm very on another level today. Okay, so I think I might add a little tiny bit more of green of the turtle and Pacific from the Ace Butte in the inner corner of the halo. And we're going to go in with the funds. The, oh, Allie Shuddy. Huh. I will insert a picture of Allie right here. She's cute, but she is the mouthiest thing. <laughs> she's like, you walk in when you come home, she's like, row, 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 row. She does this whole thing. And I'm just like, Allie. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to dip into this Mykonos. I'm sorry if I'm screwing that up. I don't know how to say it. I'm grabbing it just on a flat brush, spraying it. 
And I'm just going to pop that over here closer to the green side of the halo and up in a little bit. To take my finger and kind of pat blend. Oh, that color is oh, so pretty. And then I am going to take another flat brush and I am going to dip into it's Asia Aja from Juvia's Place which is a little deeper okay and this is Marina which is in the East palette Ooh, glitter time. I have been wanting to get my hands in this glitter for so long. I just don't know which one I want to use. Yang, Yanga? Yangja? Sorry if I'm totally destroying that. I destroy... Uh, there's so many things I never know how the hell to say when I'm doing this. Okay. Holy Mother of God, look at that. Oh my God. Oh. Ooh. You know, you have your like bucket list brands if you ever would get big enough to collaborate, which is a dream in and of itself. But Juvia is definitely one of those. This is that clout which is the bluer glitter wow so i am going to finish this eye and clean up underneath and I will be back and we'll talk about some more amazing brands guys guys so both eyes are done tried to make them as even as possible sorry about my fashion <laughs> hey my sports bra matches but I did have just a single t-shirt on and I was cold <laughs> forgot to close my window so that's the story on that guy. Oh, next we are going to go in with Beauty Bakery's Lollipop Liner. guys so i went ahead and put on lashes i used house of lashes my again that word i can't say my konos um so starting off with one of the brands that is not black owned but i feel like they have been uh, bobby brown i feel like bobby brown is like the og of, of exclusivity like she, i feel like she has always had such a wide shade range and when I was doing sorry my hair's annoying me when I was doing my research for you know some other brands that have have been such a a influence and a support Bobby Brown was on almost every list um going into my foundation foundation and concealer we are going to use the Oma Beauty foundation as well as the Oma Beauty concealer that I had used earlier. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I didn't realize that the, I know I look fantastic. 
fantastic. I didn't realize that the Oma can foundation that I had was my summer color. So we popped in a little bit of Pat McGrath's foundation to the skin fetish. And that is in shade like five. I have such a breakout going on right now. I can't. And I went into Sephora and I was like, listen, I need help. And I, don't, I think it was a reaction because I don't rarely ever break out, let alone break out to that magnitude that it's like all over the side of my face. So I think it has to be a reaction to something that I was using. The only new thing that I have added into my routine is the Pharmacy Deep Sweep the pore cleansing toner or something like that it sucks because I've heard so many people talk about that, how they love it so much. I mean, I, well, I guess I did break out with that one pharmacy, um, moisturizer, but it's so hard when, that's why I always tell people don't start more than one product at a time because once you do you never know which product it was that broke you out <sighs> do as i say not as i do and underneath my eyes i am going to go in with fenty beauty and i'm going into uh my under eyes with the shade lavender which mel thompson got me on to because that is in her project pan and I've been wanting to try it for a while, but, you know, you just got to hear somebody talk about it. And then that's like the extra push for you. All right. So next for my all over face foundation, I am going to go in with Pat McGrath skin. Is it? This is the skin fetish too. Yes. Skin fetish sublime. The only thing I do not like about this powder, and this is not just this powder, it's one in general. I hate that mesh thingy. <laughs> and I'm sure it's to serve a purpose, but it's so messy. Usually, I think another one has at the hourglass. I think I went in and cut out my little mesh majiggy. <laughs> For bronzer, this is another brand that may not be black owned brand, but I feel like they have always done a really good job at being all inclusive. And I think that it's really important that we not only talk about black owned beauty, but that we talk about the brands that are actually making an effort to be inclusive. I'm going in with Cover FX, and this is a sun-kissed bronze. One side shimmery, one side is just your matte regular bronzer. I was reading up on it, and I think with each of their launches, correct me if I'm wrong, that's such an itch right here. I think with both of their launches of their foundation, they started off with like 40 shades, which is incredible. Fenty. I mean, we all know that they're like the shade selection queen. It's so hard to pick out right now, especially when I was in Sephora yesterday. It's really hard to be shade matched right now. So, you know, and I'm not somebody that ever asks for help. <laughs> they dumbass. That's what they're there for. all of this and it is like eight o'clock at night and i'm gonna end up just <laughs> taking off anyway but so moving along uh, i think this is the last brand that is not fully black owned but i wanted to include it because they they posted when i think it was last year and they posted something for george floyd i believe it was that it was so impactful and it was just i think they donated a good portion to um the naacp as well and it just really struck a chord with me so i am going in with the kosis um blush 
Eighth Muse. Color and light cream. Ha, Eighth Muse is the name. <laughs> it is a double side. I believe they're both, yeah, they're both cream. Which I am tip, 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 like tippy-toeing into the... Uh, the waiting pool like I'm over here in the baby pool while all other people are there splashing around in their cream products cream products are I feel like they're all the rage right now and I'm trying to be on the bus okay makes me laugh my daughter I embarrass her so badly but you know that's why we have kids so that we can, oh, Jesus, Lord, so that we can grow up and embarrass the shit out of them, right? So my daughter, <laughs> she had a friend over this weekend, and I forget what I said, but she's like, Mom, just, you're embarrassing me. And I'm like, but I'm not a regular mom. I'm a cool mom <laughs> from Mean Girls. And she's like, no, just no, Mom. Going in underneath the eye. I I think I'm going to use the Magic Mini by Julia's Place, and I'm going to take a pencil brush, and I think I'm going to go into the shade Asia. I'm going to take my pencil brush, I dipped it in that shade Asia, and sprayed it with my setting spray, and I am just going to smudge her out underneath. Okay, so then I am going to take a different pencil brush, a little bit of a smaller one, and I am going to dip into the shade Buzzo, I'm guessing, which is this bright green one right there. It's my birth month, just saying. My daughter was talking to me. I think her friend, I was taking her friend home. And she's like, how old are you going to be? And I was like, I'm going to be, <laughs> I had to stop and think. And I'm like, 37. I'm going to be 37. And she's like, oh. And I was like, why? And she's like, I thought you were. And she's like, never mind. And I'm like, you were going to say you thought I was in my 40s, aren't you? Aging with grace, she is. Okay, so under eyes are done. I'm just going to go in with some Fenty. All right, finishing off the face. I went in with my highlighter. I'm going to go in with the Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey palette and I'm going to dip into spoiler alerts. And, oh, they have such good freaking highlighters. Look at that. Oh, lady. And gentle. Look at that glow. Oh my lord. And I'm going to do a nose tip. I do want to go in with that milk and honey shade and just pop it in right there. Just give it her a little pop. Every time I do it, I want to go boop. So do I have any other Aries out there? Any other ladies that are going to be turning 40 with me? Okay. I'm a little scared of this shade. I was going to use the Oma Badass Opposite Attract. So I think what I'm going to do is just the Fenty Beauty Cream and Player Safe. And this is in the shade Fenty Glow. OK, 
Okay, guys. Let me just finish myself, and I will be right back. Guys, there we go. Here is the completed look. I will insert close-ups here. <laughs> thank all of you guys who watched this video this was a video that I was very cautious of making because I wanted to do it very respectfully and I wanted to do it right and I hope I did so I will comment and tag everything down below that I use today all these brands are phenomenal if you're sleeping on these brands my friends wake up <laughs> but Thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much. This was a special video for me. So I really appreciate all the views and all the support. And I love each and every one of you. Thank you. Mwah.